Hello, my name is Luis Medina, and I will be analyzing how globalization has impacted the way Nike produced uh, their soccer cleats, and then how they get shipped to Gainesville into Dick's Sporting Goods specifically. So to start, I will show the cleats. These are not bought in Gainesville, but they are Nike soccer cleats. They are made of plastic, mostly. This is fake leather. It's plastic. Plastic inside, soft. And then the shoelaces are made of cotton. Plastic products used are polyester, plastic, hard and soft, uh, leather, but it's simulated leather, Vin ethanol vinyl acetate, which is like the part of the interior like coating on the walls and then they have like foamy plastic for the soles of the shoes which is soft plastic but they have air bubbles inside so you can squish it all of these plastic products are made in southeastern asia along with china and taiwan which most have agreements with uh Vietnam on trade. Vietnam is where the cleats are actually made, where 52% of Nike cleats are made is Vietnam. This is made possible thanks to the ASEAN Free Trade Area, which is the Association of Southeastern Asian Nations. And this ensures that well, it's a free trade area between all of the Southeastern Asian nations which includes vietnam and most of the places where the plastic all of the cotton used in the cleats which is for the laces is produced in turkey china and the u.s china and the u.s both have trade agreements with vietnam which ensures that this is cheap and then turkey doesn't have a trade agreement but they do have diplomatic relationships open and turkey is already trying to bring in a trade agreement with Vietnam to ensure that the products are cheaper. For the actual production in Vietnam, the U.S. is a trade agreement. It's bilateral. It was made into in the 2000s, like in the year 2000. And it was made to ensure that Vietnam and the U.S. have free trade and cheap trade with, within the two nations. And this is where Nike produces like 52% of their products in general. And it's becoming, well, it already is, but it's becoming even larger thanks to China starting to go away from production centers. And it is produced in Vietnam because they have cheap labor and they have a lot of people that need the labor, which is not really great because it's, it's exploitation of the workers because they don't really get paid much, but it ensures that the cleats aren't extremely expensive. So while it is a benefit for people in the US and for Nike because they have reduced production costs, it is really bad for people in Vietnam. After the product is made, it is sent to the US into Memphis, Tennessee, mostly by plane. Then once it arrives in Memphis, Tennessee, it is distributed across the U.S. and most of North America where it gets sent to Dick's Sporting Goods in Gainesville. So as to why the cleats are actually sold at Dick's, it is because Dick's has an exclusivity agreement with Nike so that a bunch of the exclusive items that Nike has are sent to Dick's only. And also, Dix likes to purchase things in extremely large quantities to ensure a cheaper price from the production company. And this makes it so that they can also sell the cleats at basically the same price that Nike sells them online and on their stores. So this is better for Dix and for the customer that, well, needs a place to buy most of their sporting things. They can just go to Dix and buy a bunch of stuff since Nike has this exclusivity agreement with them and they can buy their shorts, they can buy their shirts, they can buy a soccer shirt and they can buy their cleats.
which come everything comes at a cheaper price than going to another reseller. As for the actual political impact of these cleats, it is mostly that, well, Vietnam doesn't really get that much money, so it's just that the people in Vietnam are being exploited, and the company could be exploiting children too because of the lack of labor laws or anyone ensuring that those labor laws are being met. So other than that, that's it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.